fishing. Out here tonight with my dad. Don't get too many opportunities to go fishing together these days, but uh, we're out here tonight. Gonna try for a few pickerel. Start off with trolling, maybe switch to worms a little later on. Uh, see how we do with, uh, with a couple thunder sticks first. Cute little walleye. It's one of the best things with Dad's boat. It's got a live well, which I miss in my boat. And uh, yeah, first pickle of the night. Nice small fella under the under the 18 inch uh, minimum slot size. Nice little fish. Once the water level comes up, you should be a happy fish in there. Nice and lively. Looking great. I just had a hit. So I'm coming up to the side of the boat here. Nice pickerel, nice pickerel coming in. Oh, um, that was too far away from me, the net. clips. Stay tuned for more Fish Tomogamy, but first we'd like to thank this episode's sponsors. Family owned and operated Ridgewood Cottages, located on the shores of pristine Angus Lake. Your family will enjoy the beach, swim dock, playground, and fishing from the dock or boat. With nine cottages for rent, we have ample space for larger groups. And Leisure Island Houseboat Rentals, offering houseboats sleeping up to five people. Make your next fishing adventure mobile and have freedom to park close to your hotspot. Tow a fishing boat or canoe behind to explore the beauty of Lake Tomogamy. A beautiful night out here. Uh, the moon's just starting to come up. It's calm. It's fairly cool. Beautiful night to try and get some fish. I'm going to try a uh, trolling a little bit tonight first to start and then uh, we probably try and throw a worm towards shore and see if we can't get some pickerel once it gets a little bit darker. This is my fishing partner Sam. He's going to be with us uh, for most of the summer until he goes off to school and uh, he's going to be helping me out with these fishing videos here and there. I don't want to get my hands anywhere near a pike that's alive, so I'm going to use something that gives me a bit of reach, keeps my hands away from the hook, because the last thing you want is a hook in the hand and having to go back and get a hook removed. He's still lively. He might just do the job for me. And he did. Excellent. I'll let him flip down to the bottom of the boat. And that's our first fish for the night. Another nice hit here coming along. Feels like a decent size. Coming around on me. Should be in view soon. He's 
staying deep. It's probably a pickerel. It's staying really deep. Oh, he's running with it. He's running. He's running. Oh, this has got to be a good one. Come on, baby. Come on. Come back in. He's pulling the boat all over. Not a pit, but it's a big pipe. Huge pipe. Look at the size of that thing. Did you catch that? Catch it rolling? Look at it on the surface there. It's huge. Oh, the size of this thing. Yeah, that was almost a big net accident. Uh, Sam went to net him and uh, he kind of came off. Thankfully, I was able to get my hands around him. I'm going to put him in the boat. This is definitely the biggest pike I have ever caught. This thing is huge. Here's the results of our tonight's fishing excursion. We got the smaller pike early on. And then we got that big, massive 41 and a half inch pike, uh, second. And then we switched to worms and decided to toss a few towards the shore where we'd had some luck with pickerel before. And we got this nice uh, little fella and a 20 inch uh, pike or pickerel that we let go. 13 pound, 11 ounce pike. 13 pound, 11 ounce pike. We've seen some pretty crazy fish this episode, especially those pike. And you've seen me reach for these. You'll see me reach for these all season long. Just a standard pair of fish pliers, but boy oh boy, they're a nice tool in your tackle box. These here have a nice long reach, so if you get a fish deep down in the throat that's taking the hook down deep, you can get in, grab that hook, twist it out with minimal damage to the fish, and you don't have to try and jam your hand down the fish's throat to try and get a hook out. The other nice thing is, you don't have to put your fingers on the hook. Guaranteed, if you're working with treble hooks, one of these hooks are going to be bare. And it's a prime candidate for your new body piercing. You get a fish that suddenly flips out of your hand while your fingers are around this hook. It can make a great fishing trip really short as you head off to go get a hook out. So whether you've got something like these pliers or even just a standard pair of needle nose pliers, make sure you've got something in your box that's going to keep your hands off the hooks. The other nice thing is it helps protect fish. If you've got a fish that is too small or too big and you want to let it go, use the pliers, grab the hook, right? You don't ever have to touch the fish. Just twist that hook. The fish will probably do all the work for you. Flip off the hook back into the lake. You don't ever have to touch the fish and the less you touch a fish that you're going to let go the better it will be for the fish. That's my tip for this episode. Keep your lines tight.